Why ally myself now with a peaceful life? Um, <clears throat> I am not against strife for ethnic self-determination, as you can tell, with Serbia and Syria. But I must also speak to the Catholics. Um, the IRA honored the Good Friday Agreement. But what did they get for it? And then Ireland seemed to forget about it when their economy was booming up until probably about, what, seven years ago? If not less than that. Do they, were, do they forget so fast what happened 17 years ago? <laughs> How it was like the Gaza Strip uh, in North Ireland may still be that very way, but um, it seems like there's n there's nothing there's nobody talking about it. I am in full unyielding support for the IRA. For any Irish Catholic who wishes to drive, not just the Anglo-Saxon or the 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 Scot out. But any Protestant out of their land is being treacherous because this is a case where religion and national identity have become one, which I'm not totally against. Drive them out. I have Irish ancestry in me, and I asked the Irish people, um, this is to the Irish people actually, um, what was the numbers? Seven million. Five million were driven out, one million died, one million stayed. What about us five million over here? My family came over in the potato famine. Many of Irish people were conscripted right off the boat into the Union Army to fight the Anglo-Saxons war against Anglo-Saxons who owned slaves. When did the Irish own slaves? They were the slaves of the British Empire for so long. They actually were ruined by slavery. Who do you think you are giving up the fight? You have no right to give up the fight. Go fight. Uh, yeah, Michael Collins, we can talk about Michael Collins and oh, well, he wasn't such a good guy and this and that and yeah, I, I'd agree with you. What about, um, was it Bobby Sands? And the nine others? What about all the illegal arrests? It should look like the Gaza Strip until there's peace. The Palestinians learned from you, now you need to learn from the Palestinian. I'm Eastern Orthodox, but I will profess to be a Catholic once I step on Irish soil. And I, if my people want me to fight, since I am Irish, people forget. I, I mention I'm Latino and Arab, but they forget that I'm Irish. I will still fight for my Irish brethren. And I'm Southern Irish, Green Irish, Irish Catholic. People don't believe that's an identity. Now, Irish Catholics are Celtic. Those other people, what are they? They're from another island. They don't deserve to be there. They have no right to be there. Drive them out. 26 plus 6 equals 1. Peace. May God save Serbia. But never a coward is peace. Peace in most other languages besides English means without opposition. It means you crush them. And then there's peace. It means that in many, many languages, it means without war, without struggle, without opposition. It's not the same type of peace that there is in English. So I am in 100% full support of the IRA and 100% full support of driving the all non-Catholics out of Northern Ireland. And this is not an affront to any of the Protestant people in America or anywhere else or in England or wherever you may be, but um, 
the oppression's gone on too long, and it was Oliver Cromwell and the Roundheads that decided to draw the lines that way. Too bad. They gotta go. Take it easy. God save Ireland.